And it's always a pleasure to come back to the alma mater and see all these fresh faces. Uh, my name is Pondan Maithi and currently I'm teaching at Michigan Tech at Horton in Michigan in the mechanical engineering department. Uh, well, actually though it sounds more engineering, we kind of try to work in the interface of science and technology. So it may be relevant to you also. So that's my hope here is. So today I'm going to talk about the grand challenge, the designer material. So what I want to talk about here is that so how we evolved about using different materials. So we started with stone and then we evolved to metals. Say, we look at this wood. These are all natural materials. Then we started making our own materials like plastics, some heterogeneous materials like concrete where you have something, some reinforcement rods in a matrix, something like that. So today, what I'm like to say here is that the time has come to design the materials. So we have some performance goals, we have some ideas in mind and how we make some material so that we meet those goals. That's the idea. So in the last talk we are more talking about the uh, macro scale picture and the big picture. Here I'll be talking more about the small picture. So big picture we have seen for past whatever, from the dawn of humanity, people have used different materials. Now, with the advent of nanotechnology, you must have heard about that. So we have the opportunity to operate at the lowest scale and design new materials. And I'll show you some glimpses of that. So what is a design of material? What I mean by that? So it needs multi-scale engineering. That means we want to look at the lowest possible scale. But obviously, we want to use these things at the macro scale. We want to make buildings. We want to make cars or whatever. So we have to keep that in mind. So we look at all the scales. Number one and number two, the multi-functionality. Now we don't talk about materials which serves only one purpose. Say this table. This table only bears the load, load of that projector or whatever. So now we want to design some new materials which will do more than one work. Okay, so it may take the load and it can maybe store some electricity and it can do something else. So how to impart a multi-functionality in a typical material or how we can design new materials to do that. So, I'm talking a little bit about nanotechnology, just three four slides about that and what I mean by multi-scale engineering, what I mean by multi-functional.